Creator of the universe, God the Good, loves you, Cancer. November is the month of the angelic frequencies of the gemstone citrine. Your birthstone is ruby, Cancer, so what we need to do is find out how these two gemstones resonate with each other. I'm Pastor Rosemary, the Astrology Angel. Thank you for joining us. If you'd like to learn how to contact me, please visit my website at www.readingsbyrosemary.com. We provide you with all the information necessary on how you can obtain one of our spiritual consultations, Psychic Astrology, Rosicrucian Kabbalah, as well as classes and upcoming seminars. Now, regarding November's gemstone of citrine, it has the light emanations of the astrology archangel Barchiel, and your zodiac sign gemstone of ruby has the properties of light bestowed by the zodiac archangel Muriel. So, this is a raw ruby. See how that's a raw ruby? It's very deep in color. It's a very deep, deep red. Just beautiful. That's very good for healing. Uh, also, uh, this amber is also associated. And th these are going to be in combination with these, these uh, citrine. And, and you can use it in jewelry. You can use it in... You can find rosaries with various types of, of associations. Remember, for rosaries, you want to get the metal associated with your planetary and astrological uh, correspondences that you're trying to, to use sympathetic magic with, and you want to also use the gemstones associated for what you're trying to accomplish. And uh, you can pick up rosaries if you're in Hawaii at the... Uh, at Pauline Books and Media on Bishop Street. Now, they, they're, of course, they're not into astrology uh, because that's not a portion of their teaching. Nevertheless, uh, they have deep knowledge about which saints and which types of situations you would want to use a certain type of rosary for. And that's because, again, it's about certain feast days and saint holidays, which are actually... Uh, every one of the saints is associated with the zodiac sign. That's why there's 12 disciples of Christ and Christ in the middle, 12, 12 signs around the sun in the middle, Jesus the sun in the middle, and the 12 around him. It's, and each one is, is associated with a zodiac sign. So each apostle is associated with a zodiac sign. Okay? And if you want to find out uh, a book that's good for that, you can uh, watch our uh, video from October for October's gemstones because we go over that book regarding that uh, regarding the occult Christ okay so there's esoteric Christian teachings now remember that again your ruling planet is the moon cancer okay and it's Luna in in Latin Moonstones or pearls are the precious stones used to align oneself with the energies of the planetary archangel Gabriel, who's assigned to the planet Luna in Kabbalah. So you want to use silver with pearl, silver with pearl rosary, and that will give you lunar capabilities of Yesod, that, that planet associated with mystery and, 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 you know, that kind of wonderful, mysterious, magical kind of quality. Okay? And it, 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 your, that Luna energy that's your ruling planet, it, that's the Archangel Gabriel, again, assigned to Luna in Kabbalah, who bestows powerful emotions which come from the heart, more powerful than any logic of the mind, who, like all magical beings, provide the human creature with varying levels of compassion, mercy, consideration, leniency 
correction and severity. So be mindful of your own power when utilizing these powerful gemstones, these potent gemstones, these birth stones, and these planetary and astrological stones in unison with each other. Now the Archangel Gabriel is planetary archangel of the moon in Kabbalah, acclaimed in all Abrahamic faiths. Remember, you're, you're a water sign, you're cardinal water, and Gabriel rules over all the water signs and rules over the cold, wet winds of the west if you're using earth coordinates. Okay? And again, the Archangel Gabriel is acclaimed in all Abrahamic faiths. So he's an important archangel. In the prophecy of Daniel, chapter 8, verses 15 to 16, in the Dewey Rames Bible, we read, Beloved, and it came to pass when I, Daniel, saw the vision and sought the meaning, that, behold, there stood before me, as it were, the appearance of a man. And I heard the voice of a man between Uli, and he called and said, Gabriel, make this man to understand the vision. Then the prophet Daniel continues in chapter 9, verses 21 to 22 in the Dewey Rames Bible. We read, As I was yet speaking in prayer, behold, the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, flying swiftly, touched me at the time of the evening sacrifice. And he instructed me and spoke to me and said, O Daniel, I am now come forth to teach thee that and that thou mightest understand. Continuing, Archangel Gabriel is also mentioned in the New Testament. We read in St. Luke's Gospel, uh, that's 126 in the Dewey Rames Bible, and in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God into a city of Galilee called Nazareth. In First Enoch, we read in chapter 9, verses 1 to 3, and then Michael... Archangel Michael. Again, I got this at Pauline Books and Median, Honolulu on Bishop Street. Archangel Michael. Powerful statue. Very powerful representation of the mighty Archangel Michael. So we'll continue. And then Michael, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel looked down from heaven and saw much blood being shed upon the earth and all lawlessness being wrought upon the earth and they said one to another the earth made without inhabitant cries the voice of their crying up to the gates of heaven and now to you the holy ones of heaven the souls of men make their suit saying bring our cause before the most high the moon is known as the attribute of God the mother found in Isaiah 30:26. The Dewey Rames Bible we read, And the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun, and the light of the sun shall be sevenfold. And the light as the light of seven days in the day when the Lord shall bind up the wound of his people and shall heal the stroke of their wound. This scripture from the book of Isaiah is actually the giveaway of the secret to deciphering the Torah code by getting rid of the spaces between the levers, the letters which, which are also numbers giving rise to the way to accomplish the great work of immortality. Uh, if you want a, a, the, a good book to start with, if you want to study Torah codes, there's many, many, many different books and videos and websites about Torah codes, Bible codes, but the original one that I read many moons ago, uh, I believe it's in the 90s, it was published um, by Michael Drosnin, the author A Bible Code, Bible Code is a book that you just have to get. Now your water guardian Archangel Gabriel speaks through to you from your Cancer Astrology Archangel Muriel. This is an angelic horoscope transmission from your Cancer Zodiac Angel Muriel who resides over the crab's cardinal water nature and these are his messages for you in the areas of love, money and health. Now first Muriel's love, rapture and romance transmission with help of the mighty Archangel Gabriel. Now remember it's all about love, it's all about love especially when we're dealing with Gabriel, especially when we're dealing with lunar aspects, and especially during November when we're going to bring in eighth house frequencies, very visceral though, very passionate and visceral. Okay, Now, the amber angelic-like frequencies for this love, rapture, and romance transmission from Muriel, remember, it's amber in color. So you want to use your amber type stones and your citrine type stones, okay? And citrine uh, is a wonderful color 
that uh, is happens to grace the, the cover of this book, which was given to me by my compatriots in a, in a Rosicrucian style, Golden Dawn style order. I was in many moons ago, people who I love dearly. This is called, they gave me this as a gift, as a birthday gift, and it's Egyptian Myths and Mysteries by Rudolf Steiner. And it's published by Anthroposophic Press. I love this book. This book is all about how, indeed, the, the goddesses, you know, goddesses and gods of Egypt are representations of how the, the universal body, the creature, is formed from these planetary and zodiacal aspects, and especially the planetary aspects, and how our body is really formed from these planetary uh, and zodiacal aspects, because we are indeed a, our bodies are a hologram of the universal creature. <clears throat> but the universal creature has both male and female attributes, obviously, as, as expressed in Kabbalah. Otherwise, we wouldn't have males and females. And indeed, the word Elohim, which is translated as God, probably gotten from the tribe of Gad, which most associate with Ares, or God, Riel, the archangel, mighty archangel of war, which Ares is associated with the war of Mars, that kind of thing. But the Elohim are a group. It's a plural. It's a feminine word with a masculine plural, Elohim. So it's not one person. It's it's similar to, you know, it, they're they're kind of in between the Most High and humans, if you will. That's sort of the position of the Elohim. Okay. Now, re regarding again, Muriel's gonna be able to to associate and give you uh, sort of inspiration for making your own elixirs, making your own tonics. I have made myself this tonic, this elixir with herbs, planetary astrological herbs for November, uh, and it's all and for my sign and, and it's also it's got planetary and astrological aspects. We've got spices, herbs, and we also have uh, used some gemstones and soaked it and put it in the sun and the moon. We got solar and lunar energy gives you great alchemical preparation to give us great amounts of vim and vigor and and sort of these tonics are going to gleam forth towards very post genuinely sympathetic sympathetic magic inner and outer therapeutic again the great strength bestowing elixirs that emit gemstone shards of creative light because as I create in November enthralling to gaze upon from the gemstone of citrine inspiring your adoring wishes through delightful sustenance granted from November's martial and plutonian angelic realms in the expedition of this birthstone's plenteous as well as heartening and brilliant attributes. Magical currents of an enchanting permutation of Zodiac Angel Bartschild's natural eighth house qualities in addition to your own cancer energies bestows to you a thrilling nature beaming with expectancy towards experiencing fresh desires being realized as well as powers of creation and destruction when authentic oracles are wisely and truthfully interpreted with intuitive portions of mental acuity leading to ancient knowledge. One might ask, why practice magical arts? Our obvious answer is, God helps those who help themselves. That adage fits in right here. Now follow this in the book of Ruth 1.8 in the Webster Bible translation we read, and Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, go. We turn each to her mother's house. The Lord deal kindly with you as ye have dealt with the dead and with me. Isn't it interesting that in the Old Testament we have the books of Ruth and Esther, but in the, in the New Testament, the, the book of Mary and, and some of the other women that were around Christ, his disciples, even his mother, their books were not canonized. Just like the Gospel of St. Thomas, the Gospel of Judas, and the Gospel of Mary, they, they didn't canonize these books. Women were kind of pushed out of the Bible. So, you know, the, the Old Testament gives you a lot of the very um, important uh, inspiration, divinely inspired Word of God through the feminine, which you need, and we especially need it nowadays. Now, two great books about Egyptian in this age of Aquarius. Now, this, again, these two great books about Egyptian magic. Remember, uh, one I, I had mentioned, Egyptian Myths and Mysteries by Rudolf Steiner, Anthroposophic Press. Got to have that book. It just happens to have a citrine color matching during this sort of time when citrine is the, the color and citrine is the vibration for 
uh, utilizing November's energy, those eighth house Scorpio energies. You want to get things that are citrine in nature. You want to get use that. You want to utilize that. Also, another book that is really important for Egyptian magic. Uh, this is another book I have. I told you I have a lot of books by the Schulers. <laughs> this is Egyptian Magic, Enter the Body of Light, Travel the Magical Universe by Gerald and Betty Schuler. So this is great. Not only does it have great and wonderful Egyptian magic in it, but it also has in it great and wonderful pictures of all the Egyptian gods and goddesses. Very wonderful uh, pictures. Just great. It's, it's just a book... Uh, that I love dearly, and this is published by Llewellyn. So that's a book that if you want to understand the Egyptian mysteries, after all, Christianity, it's my contention, it's been my contention for a while, that, that in ancient Egypt, uh, the pharaoh was, was the Christos. He was anointed, the anointed one. He was anointed with crocodile oil. That's what Messiah means, the one anointed with crocodile oil. So you have the, the pharaoh being anointed with crocodile oil and being the one who is, ascends through the, you know, through the ego, really, and into the soul, into the immortalized soul, and to be immortalized in the heavens and have spent eternity in heavens as a great star. Now, now, now we're be, in the, in, Christianity is sort of a way that everybody, everyone can, can attain Christ consciousness, can activate their pineal gland, can be the anointed one, the Messiah, and be one who is anointed with crocodile oil and, and uh, brought up in through, through, the, through all of the mysteries and into uh, a knowledge and conversation with their holy guardian angel. We have Nef uh, uh, Isis and Nephthys guarding the gateway here, the readings by Rosemary. And we have really... The holy guardian angel, which you want to attain is knowledge and conversation with your holy guardian angel, very important. So, so these are very important books, again, worth getting. Now, one wonders why religious texts are called holy books or word of God, while various other cultural pantheons and historical records are called myths. Why is a god like Zeus or Jupiter considered fictional characters, while Elohim, who we just mentioned are actually a group of people, both male and female, are called true gods? Why is Moses' parting of the Red Sea deemed a factual miracle, while Hercules and his amazing feats of strength are measured as folklore? Put eternal truths into your mind, and thus fill your life with magic. Because, of course, it has also been said that magic and technology are really the same thing and if you have enough technology which we knew in ancient Atlantis they had plenty of technology you know a lot of these things that we think are impossible miracles were done through technology and through genetic engineering and genetic tinkering so remember fill your life with magic that's the message during November and that's the beckoning of Anubis he, he's, the, he's the god the god Anubis he's, got, he's a jackal headed god and he's very loyal. He's a very loyal God. And he's, he's the helper of Isis to find the pieces of her husband, brother's body for rememberment. Rememberment. Now, remember that Osiris is the brother, husband of Isis, and, and Anubis, his helper, right? It helped Isis uh, after Set had... Uh, won the war against Osiris and cut his body into 14 pieces, okay? Set cut Osiris' body into 14 pieces. And he, Set had a phenomenal Setian victory over Osiris in the battle between these two gods. Now, be aware of your own powers of creation and destruction when embarking on new endeavors during martial and Plutonian rituals during 8th house month November of birth, sex, death, death and rebirth okay so we've got the story of Anubis and Isis and Osiris and Set now amazing storehouses of treasure from sensible investments is an awesome resource owing to this month's association with our traditional zodiac sign of Scorpio for your amazement through fascinatingly remarkable ways to benefit your love life family relationships, your friendships regarding discrimination and illumination and being our origin of humanity's birth into this new eon, this new age of Aquarius. This is the eon of Horus, which we now find ourselves in 
needing to understand and begin to live as we have been instructed, each according to skills and talents granted by Creator through genetic expression. Now watch this, the book of Genesis 1.27, in Webster Bible translation we read, Beloved, so God created man in his own image, in the image of God created he him, and made, uh, excuse, excuse me, in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. So once again, so God created man in his own image, in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. If sophisticated political intrigue is your chosen course of study, you would do well to begin by a thorough reading of the Old Testament book of Esther. For example, to find out how rulers deal with their people, in Esther 3.11, beloved, we read in Webster Bible translation, And the king said to Haman, The silver is given to thee, the people also to do with them as it seemeth good to thee. Okay? Look for those who want to express themselves creatively, those who brainstorm and have various and sundry new, great, fresh, great, brilliant ideas and ideations. Initiated from a gem which shines eye-catching yet therapeutic abilities for the owner of such a gemstone through enticement of martial and plutonium qualities, affected vortex centers of crown chakra, third eye chakra, solar plexus chakra, sacral chakra, and root chakra attributes, and that's going to help produce profuse amounts of happiness through finding occasions as well as venues in which to heal during higher frequency psychic sessions where Rosicrucian third order beings give forth information generated from upper Kabbalistic worlds bestowing attainment of great halls of ancient knowledge through ultra-dimensional and interdimensional communications made ready for practical utilization when sympathetic energies are produced. Now a, a great book that we uh, that is required reading for our second order, for the members of our second order, of which I am the uh, Imperatrix of the Hermetic Order of the Alchemical Flame. We have a Rosicrucian notebook, The Secret Sciences Used by Members of the Order, by, really, by Willie Schroeder. This is published by Weiser. This is a very important book. You see here we have the Rose, the Passionist's Heart, and the Cross. It's a beautiful Rosicrucian symbol. And it, notice that it includes the Passionist's heart on the rose and the cross. This is a very, very important book. Uh, these are some of our most treasured books. Just sublime. Delicious books. Okay, now, regarding uh, those who really want to want to come into their own, uh, what, what you want to uh, try to focus on during November is you want to really focus on the things that are able to, to correspond with Mars. You want to correspond with Gibura, Mars. That's Aries, Mars. Uh, and, and that gives a choleric humor in the, in the four humors associated with southern hot dry winds of Michael the Archangel. And remember, that's, that's considered with also... Uh, it, it's considered with Samael, but because we have... Um, you know, Michael is associated with the hot dry winds, but he's not the angel of Mars. He's the angel of the sun, which is, that's why he's associated with the hot dry winds. And Samael is associated with, uh, with Mars and also Kamael with Gibura, okay? So there's some overlapping, of course, which is, you know, you have a general thing and then you get more and more specific, like in Enochian magic. When you have fire, then you have... Uh, air of fire and water of fire and that kind of thing and then you get even more more precise than that yeah and and these hot dry winds are often considered malevolent in nature according to Hipp Hippocrates uh, he's in a 460 to 377 BC and Andrew Board's 15, 1542 work respectively is where we're getting this from now Scorpio's second ruler Pluto associates with one's mental body according to Dr. Bach who is famous for his flower essence remedies Chinese medicine categorizes Pluto as having mainly water element association given to Plutonian attributes and these Plutonian attributes are attributes and qualities of transformation or death. Now in Greek or Roman systems of medicine, water associates with phlegmatic humor and indeed uh, author Jonathan 
Clogston Wilmont in his uh, Willemont in his uh, book Western Astrology and Chinese Medicine speaks of Pluto as being a planet which is furthest from the Sun relating to water phase which is now paraphrased and of course in this quoting that I'm giving you here of his brilliant work Pluto is extremist in his ideologies perhaps it was fear of the awful aspects of Pluto that caused the International Astronomical Union members to demote Pluto to a quote, dwarf planet, unquote, in August of 2006 uh, or 2006. With that said, dwarves are fierce and rich, quote, kings under the mountain, unquote, according to an epic 1937 book, The Hobbit, by J.R.R. Tolkien. So be mindful of thinking dwarfhood is actually meant to reduce in importance for Thorin Oakenshield II, son of Thrain, son of uh, Thora, took back the, quote, Lonely Mountain, unquote, from Smaug, though he was killed in action later on in the Battle of Five Armies. Now, continuing regarding human anatomical planetary correspondences, we find that Mars associates with the head as well as structures which protrude from it, such as the nose and ears. Pluto associates with inner or secretive portions of human anatomy. Zodiac sign correspondences assign Scorpio as ruler over sexual organs or genitals. Energetic planetary and astrological frequencies associate Scorpio or natural eighth house chakras as follows. Crown chakra, pineal gland, third eye chakra, pituitary gland are order assigns the third eye or pineal gland to the seventh or crown chakra rather than sixth chakra even though that vortex traditionally bears the name of third eye which we assign sixth chakra to pituitary gland location and location due to and, and function due to the anatomical as well as practical endocrine consideration while assignments for other ductless glands such as upper solar plexus chakra adrenal gland and lower solar plexus chakra pancreas gland sacral chakra ovary gland root chakra testes are glandular attributes and functional awareness which are incorporated by mother nature into Scorpio qualities now if you really read about some of these um, planetary associations and astrological associations you will find that God is very merciful in how uh, you're being treated in your life because you might think that God's been unkind to you but if you read what might have happened had God not done what he had done to you you might have done far worse if, if only the astrological and only the planetary and the, only the natural attributes were came into your life without the love of Creator, without that loving, that loving care, that that care that comes from Creator. Creator or creatrix, that, that care that comes from the will to bestow, that is pure. You will find that God has dealt with you in a very merciful way, that it could have been much, much worse without that higher quality of Godhood and that higher quality of, of, of Creator's love, that, that Christ consciousness. That, that you know, You'll find that the Lord is good. You know, taste taste and see that the Lord is good the Lord is good he is merciful his yoke is merciful God is merciful in his wisdom he is dealing with you mercifully not because you were bad because you're not bad you are here to to help God do the calculations the calculus the equations of how the will to bestow and the will to receive are going to end up in a in a in a reality we're reality matrix technologies we're going to end up in a reality matrix that is for each person that is perfect bliss and joy for everyone okay god has dealt mercifully with you for without the love of creator god the things that would have happened if it was just with blind forces would have been so difficult you would want oblivion but when you have the mercy and the wisdom and the easy loving yoke of Jesus Christ and of the Lord or whatever that that son whether it's Yeshua Mashiach Hamashiach whether it's it's Emmanuel Hamashiach no matter what that that creator God or that 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 son of God that that love 
that love that God gives to you, that God sacrifices for you. That's the attribute, the quality that they're trying to portray in this kind of grand, uh, ide you know, ideation. Without that love, the blind forces would be, again, so unbearable that you would want, you would pray for oblivion. But with that, with the love of the Christ consciousness, some call it Krishna, there are many names for this consciousness, but with that love, God delivers it in a, in a way that is loving. And God wants to give you more and more mercy and more and more of his wisdom and more and more mercy. And of course, there's a feminine and a masculine side to God. And if you, let, if, you, if you do what you have been put here to do and you do the work God has given you and you're grateful, God is going to be even more merciful with you. You're going to find... When you, things happen to you, you're going to say, God is merciful. When you follow his ways and you read your holy books, you read whatever holy book, your, your uh, uh, Bhagavad Gita, your Bible, your, your Torah, your Tanakh, your New Testament, your Old Testament, you, use, you read your Koran, you, you read your, your whatever holy books, the holy books that are bestowed through the Buddhist faith, you read your holy book and you follow the precepts, and if your faith is science, then you follow those and you follow it. You read your holy books, you, you, you stay within, within a, a prayerful mind, meaning you're always thinking, how am I right now being grateful for what Creator is giving me? This is from Kabbalah, which works with all the faiths, not, not just the Abrahamic faith, but with all the faiths, the Kabbalah works. If you say at every moment, well, God is, is, how is God wanting me to receive, how is God trying to give me goodness in this moment, you're, you're really going to find that, that the, the, the mercies are going to prevail. You're going to have, you're going to say at the end of the day, God is so merciful, more merciful than I would ever be for myself. And that's what you're going to find. Now, intense, secretive, and visceral chakra engagement in November from that eighth house scorpion kind of thing is creative destruction or destructive creation made sense through qualities of ego's empowerment of one's soul, which activates Sephiroth of mercurial potency within Hode. Typhoret and the invisible Sephiroth of the Atlas, explaining how to obtain and identify one's lunar power of Yesod for the accomplishment of activating Venusian beauty and desire in Netzach, calling upon uh, one's passion found in Marshall Gabura which will then offer sources of sephrotic magical currents of charm for love magic, which is effective when influenced through Venusian qualities of desire and emotive expressions of love in heartfelt ways, as well as both sensuality and sexuality for rich generation of genetic superiority expressed in suprahuman progeny found in goddesses or gods of genetic engineering cults and biotechnology cults, as well as eighth house attributes of birth, sex, death, and rebirth, and debt being those who deal with the absolute realities of life, although in ingenious ways to catapult humankind up the ladder of evolution, such as technologies corresponding to the Sephir of Gibura, named classically as the Greek god Ares, the Roman god Mars, the Egyptian god Montu, god Riel, archangel of war, or passion for romance, planetary archangel of Mars, Samael, all invoke, invoke or invoke powerful, magical currents invoke or invoke when these are included in performance of ritual ceremonial magic. Planetary angel Kamael is associated with Gabura meaning strength or courage located in the feminine pillar of our Kabbalistic tree with qualities of war and severity on the feminine side expressed through the male body. And remember courage is having fear but dealing with it and functioning anyway. And this, remember we have Feminine body, God aspect comes through that. Masculine body, the goddess comes through that. Restriction and severity, goddess. Freedom and emotion, the God. That God energy comes through the feminine body. That goddess energy comes through the masculine body. But no, nobody can live in all light. No one can live in all darkness. We, we actually can only exist in the nexus between the two. We're all a great balance of these things. The will to bestow and the will to receive. Okay? Will to bestow, will to receive for the sake of the self ends you in oblivion. The will to receive um, in order to share, and in order to justify the Creator and give the Creator uh, satisfaction. That is the only way 
that the will to receive can attain the will to bestow when you're in a physical body. Okay, and then you rise above it and come into the spiritual nature of bestowing. Now, the, the, again, the Venusian uh, is, is in Netzach, and the, the Geburic is, is the martial aspects. Okay, so these, these types of uh, gods, again, we have uh, Gebura here is classically the god Ares, the Roman god Mars, Egyptian god Montu, okay, and again, it's god real, yeah, it's god real. Is, is, is probably where you, where you get the word God from, okay? And you're going to be able to utilize these, uh, and you're going to, on the Kabbalistic tree, the qualities of war and severity are expressed through these war gods and, and Aries and Mars. Now, traditional planetary archangel Michael is associated with winning God's war. This is archangel Michael associated with winning God's war. And that was the, the war in heaven. And it's, it was the war where he, he had uh, he battled Hasatan, or the, the, the adversary. And that's where you have, uh, he kicks out Hasatan. And, and Michael corresponds with Sol, or the sun, uh, where it's Samael associated with Mars, and, it, and it's uh, Gebur is associated with Kamael. And the, the, the sun transits at this time to the eighth house frequencies that we mentioned of, of birth and sex and death and dad and, and rebirth. Now, planetary archangel Osriel is associated with the outer Kuiper belt planet Pluto. Now, Hades is this planet's Greek name, Pluto his Roman name, Anubis his Egyptian moniker, found in the 11th invisible sephir of Daath, the doorway to other dimensions. For adepts who adhere to the law of Thelema, Pluto is found in the sephir of Keter, where the, the monadic reasons of self and not self vanish completely. Okay. <clears throat> now, from Muriel's money and wealth transmission, again, with help of the great archangel of water, who is Gabriel. Gabriel. From the money and wealth transmission, we have nature demanding obedience from her progeny, which is very evident in all natural laws of science. Okay. One must keep in mind that scientists are only able to observe those dimensions in which they have apparatus to detect. Realms which are hidden and out of your sight, there are many realms which are hidden. Uh, you know, when, when you get into the, when you, the teachings of the, the seven heavens and the seven hells, they're, 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 un, they're, they're folded up. And you have to uh, keep in mind that these types of, of obscure, hidden realms uh, to man are unveiled in New Testament book entitled Revelation of St. John the Divine. Now, Revelation is the English trans uh, translation excuse me, of the Greek word meaning apocalypse through which we peer into worlds yet to come. When the sun associated with Archangel St. Michael unites forces with Marshall Archangel Seraphim Samael and Geburic Archangel Kamael alongside with planetary angel Osriel's Plutonian angelic realm as well as Scorpio Zodiac angel Barchiel's dwelling creating new worlds evoking a longing to obtain and maintain power. Magic is useful to bless or protect homes, yards and structures or landscapes using appropriate planetary and astrological sympathetic magic. Landscaping and the addition of outdoor lighting and part it's really part of home improvement. And Scorpio and eighth house attributes associated with Bart Shell brings vitality to any home or property, increasing property value. Thus, in any community's economic position is going to be elevated from which one may want to achieve earnings when soul transits through November frequencies where planetary seraphim of Mars, and that's Samael again, it's a seraphim. Ma of Mars is Samael, uh, also planetary angel of Pluto named Azrael, uh, our associated zodiac angel of Scorpio, Bart shall oversee activity bringing a great yearning, a great longing for better state of affairs, attainment of substantial financial goals towards gratifying values through application of holy knowledge comprehending uh, mechanisms of God's great universe. We have God, you know, we have Zeus, so I know the lightning bolt, L, electricity, Zeus, 
Jupiter, El, the Hebrew god El, it's all electricity, it's all the same thing. See how it's all explained. Now, this is going to be the time in November for making dreams come true through purposeful, dedicated, and actionable application of Rosicrucian magical currents to everyday life situations for enjoyment of miraculous results. Ancient brotherhoods appreciate competent skill and intelligent discourse. Owning one's own business as well as any evocation dealing with birth, death, debt, sex, and rebirth prove valuable during natural eighth house considerations of the natural zodiac house of Scorpio, the scorpion with enchanting martial and plutonian strength and mystery respectively causing one capability towards evoking preferable product placement from treasure storehouses uh, that are going to have incorporation of angelic realms keeping everyone well informed well entertained and at their best connecting to one's own personal money minahuni in the Kabbalistic Sephiroth of Jupiter and Chesed and Venusian Netzach which are important Sephiroth for income creation and money magic techniques being abundant sources of money from where economic vitality sustained through a profusion of realized abundance brought down through Kabbalistic upper realms into the world of Asaya having the throne of Malka the bride of the king creating his kingdom in Malkus. So this is Malkus down in this area. Okay, Malkus. You have Klipot, Malkut, Yesod. You have Hod, Netzak. And you have uh, Gebura, Gedula, or Chesed. And you have Bena. And you have Chochma. And you have Keter. Okay, so these are the Kabbalistic dimensions that the that you have this kind of lightning bolt coming down. You have one on each side, really. And, and it goes into a three-dimensional form and into, respectively, ten and eleven dimensions. And then you really have how you have um, the hologram for the, the manifested universe as we know it. Okay? Now, re regarding these Kabbalistic areas, this is Malka the Bride, and she's the Bride of the King. And she creates, and she gives birth to his kingdom in, Mal in Malkuth. And it's begotten from excellent genetic tinkering, really, of the elves and the gnomes and the fairies being magical beings inhabiting the etheric planes. The etheric plane is like the fascia over the earth. And it's the etheric planes of existence that give that superior prospects given when well-made magical talismans and amulets are properly crafted. And also being able to to be made and used when you have skilled hands and skilled craftsmen and craftswomen and able to speak to friendly and goodly beings and all the friendly elementals brought to it through understanding with results from magical precision manifesting real world financial talents dealing cooperatively with friendly magical elementals upon which all magicians and adepts must rely sylphs Salamanders, undines, gnomes. Wizards and wizardesses often invoke into their being or, you know, they invoke into their being or invoke into fashion sacred spaces or magical circles, the energies of the Sephira Bina or Saturnine, is where we find Mother Mary. Saturnine intelligences, angels, and divine names are assigned in Kabbalah to characteristics such as hermetically sealing great power, which when released then creates this sort of a marvelous venues for opulent opportunities for bettering one's investments or keeping already gotten monies in excellent order. Paying attention to scripture gives good and right command of law, unvarying obligation to one's deity, community, friends, and most importantly, family grants victory in any circumstance, particularly when astrological progressions call for combining moonstone or ruby with citrine, uniting astrology, archangelic forces known to Muriel and known to Barchiel, which entices customers and clients through inscrutability, perfume, spectacle, and reverberation of affluence with its charming to the senses, influential appeal in the theaters of property law, also, you're going to be able to, to find uh, estate planning influence during November. Zoning and inheritance tax law will prove to uphold infinite remuneration kept intact when one commits scripture to memory. You've got to 
uh, take your scripture and put it into your brain so that it fills your mind with the goodness of God, with Christ consciousness, with Christ Jesus our Lord, with his mind, who loveth thee, who is better to thee than seven sons. Again, we're going to look at the book of, of, of Ruth in the, in the Old Testament because that's going to give us some of this, um, the Old Testament biblical scriptures are really filled with intrigue and family and community law as well as tradition. Such knowledge will continue your goodness in your life. Okay, let's, let's look at this, beloved, at the, at the book of Ruth, uh, 415, that's uh, chapter 4, verse 15, in the Webster Bible translation we read, And he shall be to thee a restorer of thy life, and a nourisher of thy old age. For thy daughter-in-law, who loveth thee, who is better to thee than seven sons, hath borne him. Continuing now with the transmission from your zodiac angel Muriel and your your angel of your elemental angel of water, who's Gabriel, because you're cardinal water. Chakras balanced during soul's November transit are also invigorated, bathed in luxuriously cleansing citrine light, and synchronized during this voyage of our sun. Fundamentally, when good quality monetary health encourages delectable environments and healthful angelic beings through November's gemstone, and that's going to bestow frequency of motivation and plentiful portion of economic chance through which one may manifest even greater rewards during this time. Now for Muriel's health and fitness transmission, health practices. Okay, we're you know, going to find that the planetary and astrological associations with the chakras and the, the structures of your brain. Okay, Now, the health practices are certain to improve your fitness and your well-being during November when disappointment is used to motivate oneself in healthy directions one desires to travel. Okay, Now, everything has its proper season, and now is the occasion for sublimating martial aspects of God alongside with Plutonian facets of Creator's nature. Knowledge is stated in I Know in the divine tone associated with the Aquarian Age, ruled by Saturn and Uranus when messianic water-bearing qualities are added to November's cosmological confluence and divine tone of I create assigned symbols towards Scorpio. Creativity is your crown. Yes, the Scorpio is the eighth house. Uh, you're, you're the fourth house. And you're going to have knowing and acting upon learned ancient sciences such as alchemy along with magical gemstone array technologies made with deep understanding in the hands of talented art artisans and technicians while the sun transits through natural eighth house attributes of birth and death and debt and sex and rebirth during November, life will be plenty exciting in that any hint of boredom will be much appreciated. Now follow this in the book of Esther. 1-6, Webster Bible Translation, beloved, we read, Where were white, green, and blue hangings fastened with cords of fine linen, and purple to silver, rings and pillars of marble, the beds were of gold and silver upon a pavement of red and blue and white and black marble. Strong health will be given. A good life becomes doable during astrological convergence arrays of planets, moons, and stars due to balancing of crown, third eye, solar plexus, sacral, and root chakras. Now, the uh, crown or seventh chakra is analogous to the supernal sephir of Keter, Chochmah, and Bana, involving the pineal gland and the pituitary gland through expression of har the, the, the harmonies that are going to be found in the endocrine system, such as in hormones, which grant access to netherworld and heavenly dimensions, where Christ is seen judging all human activity. Let us look, beloved, at Revelation 21 to 13 in the Webster Bible translation. We read, And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them, and I saw the dead small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of the things which were written in the books according to their works, and the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged, every man according to their works. Now we continue with the transmission from Muriel and Gabriel. Third chakra, upper in upper, lower 
uh, solar, upper and lower solar plexus. Ductless glands include the adrenals and the pancreas, which are also strengthened and revitalized during November, especially when Tibetan yoga rites were used. All are energized when soul transits natural eighth house frequencies. Solar plexus chakra activation occurs during this progression involving lower portions of the sephir of Typhurit, which encompasses the soul of the heart and the ego of the solar plexus chakras. Thus, during November, ego is going to become even more stimulated than the soul. This is due to societal encouragement, self-concern, and self-reliance. Sacral, the sacral chakra involves activation of female reproduction and sexual organs while root chakra frequencies are concerned with male reproductive and sexual organs. Genetic awareness imprinted upon one's true will leads to excellent adherence to biological push towards well-organized and proper cellular task functioning towards vibrant health. A fantastic soothing, harmonizing, and healing focus occur during November when one electrifies one's peripheral morphogenic field with an objective towards vim and vigor brought into reality through knowledge of God's universal laws. Turn, beloved, to Galatians 3.24. We read in the Webster Bible translation, wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us to Christ, that we might be justified by faith. Remember, Christ is Mashiach, HaMashiach. It's the same word. It means anointed. Anointed with crocodile oil like the Pharaoh. They, they say that is what it is from the pharaohs of Egypt. But it's been, it, but then we have the great eagle who lifts up the serpent. So what we have is we have the elevation from the reptilian survival brain into the higher brain functions. Now, new creativity and innovation proves a momentous attribute. That's indeed the alchemical secret of Scorpio and why Scorpio is seen as an eagle instead of a scorpion when you look at the four living creatures in your biblical text. Now, the attribute during November in, is, again, the innovation. And in the I Ching, it's the new creativity in November, but in the I Ching method of chakra healing, this portion of the year is significant for healing of the organs and the structures of the head, upper and lower abdomen and pelvis, as well as the genitals and the ductless glands assigned to the chakras already mentioned, while strengthening, invigorating, and energizing natural eighth house qualities, being that November's zodiac sign of Scorpio's ruling planet planets of Mars and Pluto, which are concerned with planetary Seraphim Samael of Mars and planetary Archangel Azrael of Pluto, strengthening Tem, Kabbalistic, Sephrotic dimensions, plus bringing new awareness of martial fifth house considerations in, this, in, in the martial, uh, excuse me, not fifth house, but it's fifth Sephira, excuse me, it's the fifth Sephira. It, the, the, the fifth house is Leo. But the Mars attribute is the fifth sephira of Gabura and the Plutonian invisible sephira of the Ath. Also, the sun is the, the, the sixth sephira of Typhurit. That's the 666, the solar logos in Typhurit, the sun. Mars is the fifth sephira of Gabura. Again, the Plutonian invisible sephira of the Ath in the throat chakra or Kether in Thelemic studies in the crown regarding function connecting dimensions of strength and courage battle, mystery, peak performance and discipline with subsequent Plutonian exploitation of sexual allure through use of pheromones, incorporating essences which suggest strength or thickness, sort of a viscous kind of a feeling through preparations or tinctures too strong for most congruent with outlandish portions of one's ego when one overdoes. Scorpio preparations include dragon's blood, tobacco, myrrh, vanilla, peppermint, nutmeg, and cloves, basil, or ginger. Incorporation of the entire range of energetic frequencies of moonstone for Luna, ruby for Cancer, and citrine for Scorpio brings innovation and vitality into your life. Okay, iron and ruby is a great rosary for Scorpio. Okay. That's during November for the 8th house frequencies, okay? Yeah, it's already been put together for you by the Catholic Church. You can just uh, buy these. They've already been made for you, okay? You can make your own, too. You can buy the, you can buy the, uh, 
the pieces you need also from the Pauline's Books of Media. They have the pieces you need to put the rosaries together. Now, remember, you're going to be able to achieve during November using these kinds of, of magical talismans. It's going to cause you to become even more capable to achieve the goals and, and the, uh, have the power and the ability to become more resourceful and to achieve the goals you've set for yourself. Folks are going to be persuaded by by you, but, but they're, they're going to be also puzzled by you. But they're going to be, you know, inquisitive about your strong talents and your, you know, they're going to really see all, all your great skills during this astrological transit, bringing well-intentioned excitement and great new opportunities, deluxe landscapes, as well as magical treasures from deep within your soul brought to fruition through right understanding and right use of ego. Now meditate on the book of Ruth. 2.12, Beloved, in the Webster Bible translation, we read, The Lord recompense thy work, and a full reward be given thee of the Lord God of Israel, under whose wings thou hast come to trust. Astrocartographic arrangements, currently as well as at birth, must be revealed of a holistic style of unveiling one's inner nature is truly desired. A disclaimer is in order here. High magic should be used with all mindfulness, since powerful force of Forces of manifestation are unleashed. This is intended exclusively for entertainment purposes. Remember to chant your divine tone of I feel or try out the higher aspect of simply meditating on the quality of feeling and be wise, be well, be all you are meant to be, Cancer. Information found in this document and in this video is based on the oral tradition known as Kabbalah, taught to me by Rosicrucian clergy when I was but a young girl, the facts of which I have committed to memory. Thank you for joining us and please join us again.